This is... So you know that Wilmington is a movie making place. So we're gonna see if we can find a studio here. Let's go down and take a little look, see. Graveyard I was just in is not far from this graveyard, it's just on the other side of it. The tree is right on the street. One tree hill way up here, by the way. Which is one of the shows that was probably or apparently shot at this particular studio. There's a lady driving that big old fire truck. So I think this is it right here. There she is. That is a movie studio right there, friends. And this is One Tree Hill Lane that I'm on, or One Tree Hill Way. But that is a motion picture studio right there in Wilmington, North Carolina. sound stages. There's all kinds of vehicles back there that they can use for movies. Interesting. I wonder what that bridge is over down there. I'm going to go ahead and go over the bridge and see if it's over water or I think it's probably over a road would be my guess. But no, my, my GPS is showing it over water. I wonder if the water's troubled. Yeah, it looks like a pure swamp. Look at it. That looks troubled. Yeah, that's straight up swamp. Well, if you think there's not snakes and stuff in these houses, no way I would live that close to a swamp. Look at that old railroad bridge over there. Is that still in use? Maybe. Looks like it may be active. I'd be afraid this would flood over here. The Love Grove Memorial Bridge. This is the other side. And there's the movie studio right there. Soundstage 8. Looks like everybody's on vacation. You could probably find information on what was shot on Soundstage 8, that kind of thing. And then look at those vehicles right there. You've got a couple of, you got an ambulance and a couple of pickups. There's a couple of ambulances there. I'm sure they appeared in shows. They're not for show. <laughs> no pun intended. So this right here is the theater or the, the movie thing, the movie production company. There are a few people here working. Yeah, there's you. See, they got police cars lined up outside of this fence. Look at this. These are things that they would use in productions. Lexington, New York City cab. That is really cool. Rescue trucks, ambulance. A couple of other vehicles, a couple of Porsches, Porsche um, SUVs, Caymans or Volkswagens. Yeah, they're Porsches. These are things that would be used in productions and movies.
One of some giant buildings. Those are high voltage wires. I can actually hear them. Listen. I don't know if it's the moisture touching them, but you can hear them sizzling. But see, you've got Ben Haven. I don't know what that is. It's got to be something from a movie. Got all these different things from movies. That one says ILM. That one says New York. So that's just cool. All these different vehicles from productions. So very interesting looking place and a ton of things were filmed here. But the main thing that was filmed here that you'll be familiar with is the death of Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, in the movie The Crow. He was actually shot in this studio, in this soundstage right here. It was four from my findings from the people that say it was right here where the arrow's pointing. And he did not die there, but that was where the accident happened. He was rushed to the hospital and died in the hospital. They tried to save him. Sadly, the son of Bruce Lee was killed at this set of studios right here. Now, other things that you would be familiar with that were recorded here or filmed here is Dawson's Creek, Iron Man 3, Blue Velvet, The Black Knight, all kinds of different stuff. Even Weird the Millers, if you remember that movie. Just a awesome set of sound stages. This was recently sold to a giant company called Cinema Space with movie uh, sound stages all over the world and the sad tragedy of Brandon Lee from The Crow happened here over 30 years ago. Just barely over, but it was about 30 years ago, sadly. <laughs> So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.